we have you know a few ballads on there. We have some good hard hitting rock songs. I mean, we have some slower songs. I mean, it's, it's a great record. We're pretty proud of it. So. Yeah, I, th I think it covers a lot of territory everywhere from like, you know, we have we have straight forward rock songs like he said to ballads to even some like electronic like Nine Inch Nails kind of stuff in there. I think I think there's something for everyone. On this record in particular, I, I wrote, I was like the major musical contributor. Um, and a lot of times I would, you know, write the song based off of like a, either a chord like arrangement that I would played when I was like at my townhouse on like the couch or something, or I would have a, an electronic patch that I had made or something that would inspire it. And then I would take it and show it to everyone. And, you know, if they wanted, if they thought something needed to change, then we would change it or tweak it. Vocals were very collaborative. I mean, we, uh... We would sit in the room sometimes for 16 hours, I mean, and sitting there and go back and forth on, you know, ideas, you know, Drew Falk, Kyle Odell, myself, you know, JD. I mean, we uh, really had a good time doing it because we, we wanted to make sure that the content lyrically was, you know, something that people could relate to in this, you know, present time, it's, you know, because it's just a crazy time we live in. Never wanted to kind of bring each track, you know, that kind of represents emotion, you know, things you go through in life, I mean, things in general, you know, everyday struggles, you know, you can take these songs, you can kind of use them to get through the day if you need to. There's something for everybody in there. The Greensboro scene was a very heavy scene, and that's where I came from, too. I was, I was, I was in metal bands for like 15 years, and, uh, but I never listened to metal. That was the weird part. But it's a very heavy scene out there, so we definitely do kind of stand out. But there have been more rock bands and, and peers around there who do the rock thing. And the heavy crowd has been very accepting of us, which has been great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely awesome. I mean, like myself also, I come from, I kind of started out playing blues and rock and roll stuff when I was a kid. But, I mean, I was, a, you know, into metal and punk and hardcore and stuff growing up as well. I've always been kind of one to delve into music and try to discover new artists, even if they were before my time, you know. And so, I mean, it's kind of cool that we come together and make this rock band. And, I mean, it's, it's really great because, I mean, like you said, the metalheads and the hardcore kids, all of them, I mean, they, they've kind of accepted us. It's kind of cool. I've, I've always been that guy that was like, you know, you could give me a million dollars and I would still live in... A tiny townhouse and drive like a <laughs> yeah. a Honda or something. You know, I don't I don't really care about all the crazy stuff. I, I just I just enjoy the idea, you know, of maybe one day being able to be just comfortable and then that's it. I don't I don't want the the crazy stuff. You know, yeah. I just want to be able to go out and play music and have fun with the people that I play with and hopefully whoever's in the crowd or buys a record or somebody you know i can make somebody smile or laugh or feel yeah. anything you know have a good time this is jd from failure anthem and i'm kyle from the same band and subscribe to louder noise the loudest noise on earth